they can do and accomplish their dreams, why should me, a person who doesn't have any disabilities, give up? So the Impossible program is very much an awareness program to make more and more people, especially starting from our children, aware of the different abilities that exist in our world. So the whole point of the project is to make um, children and young adults more aware of what the Paralympics are. The hope is that it breaks down barriers and creates a new future. As soon as I heard about the program and about the values it intends to transmit to the students, I was very interested. We strongly believe that Paralympics should be part of the curriculum. I learned a lot myself as well. I had never heard of Paralympics. For this year, we decided to choose sitting volleyball and uh, athletics for the visually impaired. The lesson is always adapted to the individual to serve for all the children. You still have to think outside the box to prepare the lesson up and to make sure it's delivered properly to the students. I think it's worth the effort. Being exposed to this concept has given me more tools to work with. When I close my eyes or I have to do something with close and eyes, I feel how the people not seeing around, how they feel. If I sit down and I cannot use my legs. We are teaching our children to accept everything. We have a set of lessons that happen in the classroom which are more theoretical. The main focus is these four Paralympic values. Courage, determination, inspiration and uh, equality. With a lot of courage and determination, I managed to get my goals and I'll keep trying my hardest so I can push my limits. I do live the Paralympic values by being courageous and I get inspired by my mother. I see the effort they do so I try to do the best I can. If I have to walk, um, I need to have a lot and a lot and a lot and a lot of courage. And you want to instill this love of physical activity, this love of sports. They realize that it takes effort, that it takes motivation, and by experiencing it themselves, it helps to break down barriers. From the terms that I had given, the feedback was very um, engaging, especially the young ones uh, were really curious and started asking questions. Before I entered this program, I did not know that people with physical disabilities could practice sport, but I was wrong. When they meet, for athletes who have bigger hurdles to face in life than themselves, they realize that there is something positive you can do when things go wrong in life. They really, really focus on the never give up. There was a girl the week after and she came to class and she told me, you know, I, I've been trying to learn how to ride the bike without support. I thought about para-athletes and I thought to myself, if they can do it, I can do it. What I find exciting about Paralympic sports is seeing that people never, never give up, even though they have things that might not be advantages for them. We need to have a much more open society it will not only change perspective when it comes to Paris sport. Because it was a total change in the way we look at things, the way we look at inclusivity. Although we say we're inclusive, sometimes society is not that inclusive. Most of the children had never seen someone with a physical impairment and they were focusing on the impairment rather than on the person. But by the end of the sessions, the children were not pointing out at the impairment anymore, but they were pointing at the individual. And the children were like, wow, he's amazing, you know? Imagine if I could do that, I would be like a superhero. Creating a more inclusive society and a change in our culture. Before my son was exposed to practicing a parasport, he would lie about his disability. He would say that he had an accident. Since he has been involved in parasport, not only has it made a change in himself as an athlete and having an, an aim, he has taken it upon himself to explain what parasport is and to sort of spread the message to, to whoever he meets. The thing that inspired me is when I saw um, the Paralympic swimming on the TV. I feel very encouraged to practice more. I feel happy, very, very happy. It goes without saying, he's a true inspiration. The children are very open to, uh, to a lot of information which is given to them. Being able to include para sports under the umbrella 
of sport in general is very important. We are responsible to spread this message all over our country. Because we realize that there are so many different ways to do the normal things we do. And that is, I think, the secret that these people reveal to us. We really need to help our children to become better adults than we are at the moment. It's a mind opener for everyone. It is a fantastic program. What I learned from the program is that you should always try your hardest to achieve your dreams. I learned that even though you have a disability, it doesn't mean you cannot do sport. I learned that people with physical disabilities can still practice their sport. I can see people trying their hardest and never giving up. So that helps me be like, hey, I want to, I want to be like that as well. We need to be their voice sometimes. Um, not because they don't have a voice and they cannot speak for themselves, but we need to support them um, because they really de deserve it. Nothing is impossible. And that's why I like this motto of I'm possible because uh, everything is possible if you want to find a way.